We're out here with the Citation Longitude, showcasing the actual aircraft. The VR is actually going to take you through three different phases. So you have an overview from the exterior. You're actually going to fly up inside of the plane on a flight from Teterboro over to Paris. And then after that flight, you'll get to configure the aircraft using the handheld controllers with the Vive. We're also showing them the value proposition for the company and for the product. This is our first product in the super midsize category. And so it's really important for us to give them an experience that's unlike anything we've ever done before. VR is really important for us because it gives us the opportunity to take somebody on a flight. So when they come to the demo experience, we've got the airplane here. They can go sit in the airplane. They can see how big the cabin is. They can touch the leather. They can feel the wood. They can envision themselves in the airplane because they're in the airplane. But what we can't do when we're on the experience is we can't take everybody for an actual flight. What the VR brings to the table are those elements that you just can't get in reality unless you actually take a flight. And as you can imagine, that, that is a costly endeavor to take each person on a flight that would show interest in the aircraft. That's something that, as for our company, is important because they can feel the exhilaration of the climb. They can feel firsthand and kind of hear firsthand how quiet the cabin is. And that's one of the, the selling features of this product. The second part of the VR experience is a configuration tool. So our airplane is in one configuration that's here in the experience, but if we want to show customers what the couch feature looks like, if we want to show them the different color variations of the cabin finishes, the VR experience allows us to do that. And with this experience, we've also showcased a few things that you can't see just by getting in the aircraft on the ground, such as decibel comparison levels to competitors, so you can actually hear what it would sound like to be flying in it. It allows you to get inside and actually talk with your friends through the different materials and configurations that you might want if you were to customize this for your own purchase. The reason we chose the HCC Vive virtual reality system is because of our relationship with Sector 5 and also because of the, the ease and the cost of purchasing the equipment. We've got four to five teams that set it up on a weekly basis and so it had to be really simple to set up. It had to be low cost because we had to buy multiple sets. They had to be lightweight because we had to send them around the country. And then the last piece is it had to have high resolution, and we found that the Vive system is what fit us best. The lighthouses or the base stations really allow us the flexibility to create a lot of different varied experiences for our clients, and it's a really positive working experience with them, so that's why I personally choose to continue working with them. We're already looking at expanding into Asia for a couple of shows earlier next year and we're working on a portable system that we can send with the sales team. VR is really going to change the way that we do a lot of things. Uh, Virtual reality it has and will be changing our industry more and more.